Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of River Meadows Cloud Migration SaaS, Automated Cross-Hypervisor Workload Portability. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to move Linux and Windows workloads from AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud to a VMware vSphere environment with just a few clicks of the mouse using the River Meadow Cloud Migration SaaS. Let's get started. First, I'll need to log in to the River Meadow SaaS portal at migrate.rivermeadow.com. Now that I am logged in, the first step is to check that my target vSphere environment is set up and ready to receive workloads. Setting up a target environment is easy. All I need are my login credentials and a few other account data points to input. Then River Meadow SaaS does the rest. For today's demo, I already set up my vSphere target environment ahead of time, and I can see that my River Meadow Cloud appliance is already deployed there. My River Meadow Cloud appliance sits in the target environment and gathers some base level metadata on the sources that I ask it to migrate. It passes that data to River Meadow SaaS, which then creates a target worker for each source we're migrating. The target workers will deploy to my target vSphere environment and handle the automated collection, conversion, and deployment process securely behind the firewall. Since we are all set here, we can navigate to our source library. Now that we're in our source library, we can either add new source workloads to migrate or select sources that have already been added. Similar to our target setup, all I need are my source server login credentials and a couple data points to input. River Meadow does the rest. Again, for today's demo, I added my source workloads ahead of time. I have a Linux, RHEL 65, and AWS, Windows 2012 and Microsoft Azure, and RHEL 55 and Google Cloud, all of which I'll have River Meadow automatically move to my vSphere target. Let's quickly verify that these workloads are running in my source environment. Now that we've verified the IP addresses, I'm going to select the AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud workloads, and then click Migrate to start the migration. River Meadow is an as-is lift and shift migration solution, so sources can remain in production during migration. The first dialog asks me to select which target I would like to migrate these workloads to. I only have one configured, my vSphere environment. I'll select it. This starts attribute collection, where the cloud appliance will talk to the sources to find out what they are made of. This will feed into the migration configuration in the next step. Here we have the migration configuration page. This is where I choose my options for the target cloud. I can choose to run the migration now or schedule it for later. I can give it a custom migration plan name and I can set various options for each workload. River Meadow takes care of making sure the OS will boot in the target cloud. So it requires the boot volumes, but the data volumes are optional. I can take the default NIC configuration or edit the settings. I can choose DHCP or static. In the case of static, I can set my IP, my subnet mask, and my network name from a list of available networks in the target vCloud. I can also set my default gateway and DNS. I can set these options for each of the workloads I chose to move. I've made my settings, so now I will confirm and migrate. This will bring up the pre-flight validation dialog. 
During pre-flight, River Meadow is checking for conditions that could cause a migration failure. These are conditions that are not related to the actual conversion of the workloads. Pre-flight will check for bad passwords, duplicate vApp names, and so on. Once complete, I will be taken to the View Migrations page. At this point, the migrations are running. We can log out and do other things, or we can view the progress of the migrations. Here we see the progress of both the AWS RHEL 65 server and Azure Windows 2012 server migrations. When the migration progress gets to step three, River Meadow is deploying the target worker to the target cloud and we can see it come in. The target worker is an empty wireframe VM with the same RAM, CPU, and disks from the migration configuration page, but no data. The data will only be transferred once this target worker is safely inside the target environment and can securely communicate with a source over the customer provided network path. Data collection is the longest part of any migration and can vary based on conditions. While River Meadow SAS completes the migration steps, we can look in our target vSphere environment to locate our workloads that have already migrated in. While in our vSphere account, we'll search for and locate the migrated AWS and Google Cloud VMs, while our Azure VM completes its migration cycle. As you can see, we have hot clones of both these workloads in the target vSphere environment. Let's open up our AWS VM and confirm it's running. River Meadow SaaS automatically migrated them cross hypervisor and they're ready to go. River Meadow SaaS quickly and easily migrated our workloads from AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud to VMware vSphere with just a few clicks of the mouse, all while our source servers remained online. Visit www.rivermeadow.com for more information on River Meadow Cloud Migration SaaS and to take advantage of River Meadow's monthly subscription based pricing.